Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Monday, September 30th. You'll be interested to know, 97 years ago, today, in 1927, Babe Ruth, a Hall of Fame baseball player, became the first player to hit 60 home runs in a single season, which was an extraordinary achievement. His remarkable record stood for 34 years until Roger Maris hit 61 home runs in 1961. So now you know. And now, it's time for the Surf Report. Expect knee-high swell with occasional thigh sets throughout the week. On Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday morning, conditions will be semi-glassy with light, offshore winds, becoming semi-choppy in the afternoon with variable winds. Thursday morning will be semi-glassy to semi-bumpy, transitioning to semi-choppy in the afternoon with onshore winds. Monday at Tourmaline and South San Diego. It's looking fair at two to three feet until noon. After that, it's looking pretty choppy in the afternoon, but should turn fair for a sunset session. Best time to ride is at 6 a.m. with the three-foot incoming mid-tide when the northwest swell is one and a half feet at 12 seconds and the onshore wind is five mile per hour. The first high tide Monday will be five foot at 9 a.m. with a one and a half foot low tide at 2.45. This morning, it's patchy fog and feels like 63 degrees with eight mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 633 and it will rise again tomorrow at 643. It looks like we're in for some patchy fog before 11 a.m., giving way to mostly sunny skies with temperatures reaching around 76 and a gentle breeze. Tonight, Expect more patchy fog until early morning with a low of 64 and light winds. Looking ahead in the weather, expect mostly sunny days through Friday with highs near 79 to 82 degrees. Mornings will bring patchy fog until late morning and nights will be partly cloudy to mostly cloudy with lows around 66 to 67 degrees. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from 8 to 5. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them. Sunny morning send you. In local news, two residents of Oceanside, California, were arrested after cocaine was discovered on a small plane that made an emergency landing on Route 76. The pilot, 21-year-old Gabriel Liam Bright, and his passenger, 36-year-old Troy Oth Neil Smith were taken into custody on suspicion of illegal narcotic transportation. Around 1.43 in the morning, the pilot reported an engine malfunction, prompting the emergency landing near Canyon Drive. While searching the plane, officers observed one individual discarding a backpack, which contained one kilogram of drugs, alongside a small amount found on a passenger. Now on to sports. In a thrilling SEC opener, fourth-ranked Alabama defeated second-ranked Georgia 41-34. Jalen Milrow led Alabama with four touchdowns, including a game-winning 75-yard pass to Ryan Williams late in the fourth quarter. Georgia's Carson Beck threw for two touchdowns and ran for another, keeping the Bulldogs competitive throughout. Alabama's defense held strong against Georgia's final surge, sealing the victory. The win improves Alabama to 4-0, while Georgia drops to 3-1. and 
This exciting matchup showcased both teams' high-powered offenses and sets the stage for a competitive SEC season. On Sunday Night Football, the Baltimore Ravens dismantled the previously unbeaten Buffalo Bills, winning 35 to 10. Derrick Henry ran for 199 yards and two touchdowns, while Lamar Jackson threw for three more. The Ravens defense held Buffalo to just 236 yards, as Baltimore improved to two and two, dropping the Bills to three and one. Tonight on Monday Night Football, we get another doubleheader as the Tennessee Titans face the Miami Dolphins and the Seattle Seahawks battle the Detroit Lions. In local sports, Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey helped the Chiefs rally for a 17-10 win over the Chargers. Los Angeles opened with a touchdown pass from Justin Herbert to Ladd McConkey, but their offense struggled afterward. Mahomes connected with Xavier Worthy for a key touchdown, and Harrison Bucker added two field goals. The Chargers dropped to 2-2, two and two, while the Chiefs remain unbeaten at 4-0. and oh. In college football, number 13 USC staged a second-half comeback to defeat Wisconsin 38-21. Miller Moss threw for four touchdowns, leading the Trojans after trailing by double digits at halftime. The USC defense forced three turnovers and shut down Wisconsin's offense in the second half, improving to three and one in conference play. The Aztecs fell in a heartbreaking 22 to 21 loss to Central Michigan after a last second 46 yard field goal. Despite DJ O'Neill's two touchdowns and a strong performance from running back Martin Cooper, San Diego State couldn't hold their lead, dropping to one and three. The Padres closed their regular season with an 11-2 loss to the Diamondbacks, with Arizona's six-run fourth inning sealing the game. San Diego finished at 93-69 and, and now awaits their wildcard opponent as the playoffs begin this week at Petco Park. In top news, a homeowner in corbeil essence France, had a shocking experience while renovating his basement when he stumbled upon a skeleton. This unexpected discovery led archeologists to excavate the four-room cellar, ultimately revealing a total of 38 skeletons and 10 plaster sarcophagi. The site is believed to date back over 1,500 years, indicating it was once a cemetery. Interestingly, this neighborhood is known for its macabre discoveries, making this find all the more intriguing. Talk about an unexpected turn in a home improvement project. In business news, Warby Parker co-founder Dave Gilbo attributes his company's success, valued at $1,800,000,000, to a simple principle, being nice guys. The inspiration struck during a backpacking trip in northern Thailand, where he lost his glasses. Upon returning to Wharton Business School in 2008, Gilbo discovered replacing them would cost $700, far more than the $200 iPhone. This prompted him and his fellow classmates, Neil Blumenthal, Jeff Rader, and Andy Hunt, to create a company that sells glasses directly to consumers, removing frustrating retail markups and making eyewear more accessible. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just over $65,800. Ethereum is just over 2,600. And Solana is $160. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them 
sunny morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk tech. The era of touchscreens may be winding down as companies rediscover the appeal of physical controls. After nearly two decades of pushing touchable displays, product designers are reintroducing buttons, knobs, and sliders in vehicles, appliances, and personal electronics. In the automotive industry, manufacturers like Kia, BMW, and Volkswagen are moving away from Tesla's touchscreen-centric designs, favoring tactile controls instead. This trend is not limited to cars. It extends to e-readers and induction stoves. Notably, Apple has embraced this movement, adding an action button to its new iPhone 16 models, signaling a shift back to user-friendly designs. And in entertainment news. In the upcoming film Bulls, George Clooney and Brad Pitt team up as two fixers, navigating a chaotic situation in a luxury hotel suite. Directed by John Watts, this comedy features Clooney as a mysterious fixer who swiftly tackles unsolvable problems, while Pitt's character remains unnamed, adding to the intrigue. The film relies on a somewhat flimsy premise, pushing these two cool characters into a buddy comedy dynamic. Wolves, premiered in theaters last week before launching on Apple TV+, promising and entertaining, if unconventional, double act from these Hollywood icons. Well, all righty, folks. It's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the Chinese philosopher, Confucius. And Confucius said, It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the surf reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in San Diego.